Good evening and welcome to the Mirror of the World. I want to thank you for joining today or for watching this video. We are going to have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord today. In Jesus' name. My name is Buki Adioshun and I'm your regular host of this program. Before we start, I would like us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because I know you will do great things for someone today. Lord, I thank you because great joy shall be at their house. Lord, I thank you because you will wipe away tears today. Lord, I thank you because you will give someone that cried all through the day yesterday, you will give them reason to rejoice. I give you praise, Lord. Thank you because someone at the end of this video, Lord, thank you because you will give them the reason to dance, to shout, to be full of hope. And thank you for great things that you will do. Lord, I thank you because you will open their eyes to see in your world that you have great plans for them, that you are going to do great things for them. Lord, I thank you for those that you are going to heal in advance. Thank you for those you're going to set free. Thank you for those you're going to deliver. I give you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the anointing that is upon your world today. Lord, I give you praise. I bless your name for great things that you will do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. You know what? Um, as I was preparing for this message, uh, the Lord sent me to you today. Uh, is you watching right now? <laughs> not, not your neighbor, not the next person. If you are beside someone, just tell the person I said, look, Brother Buki said the Lord sent him to me today. It is you that the Lord has sent me to today. The Lord said, I should tell you that there shall be a great joy. There shall be great joy at your house in the name of Jesus. You know, uh, uh, this is what I'm going to do quickly. Uh, this is the mirror of the world. Let's do the normal. This is the mirror of the world. It's a program. Where we read a chapter of the Bible, we pray for those who are sick, and then we ask somebody to become born again. So today, by the grace of God, the God of miracle will visit your house. Today is the day that you have been waiting for. This day is salvation. Enter into your house in the name of Jesus. The Lord sent me to set you free, to release you, to lose you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I'm, I'm not important. I'm nobody, you know, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, I can do nothing. But because of the anointing, the power of the anointing, the anointing that break you, the anointing that lift up body, that anointing will set you free today in the name of Jesus. You know, but somebody say, but oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not there. You can't lay hands. No, look, let me tell you something. I don't need to lay hands on you. If only you will open your heart and you will just receive and you just believe today, great things will happen. I remember there was a time I called somebody and I was praying with you on the phone, just on the phone. We were praying. And at the end of the prayer, the brother said, you know, I felt like there was a heavy burden, a heavy burden lifted off my chest, you know. And he just go boom like that, you know. Uh, he said, "What well, I couldn't do before, I started doing it." And he was rejoicing, he was shouting, and he was praising the Lord. The Lord will visit your house today, and the Lord will do great things for you. Look, this is the scripture the Lord gave me. Uh, the Lord said in the book of um, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter forty, He said, "Comfort, comfort ye, my people." And speak comfortably to Jerusalem, talking about you. He said, He said, I should tell you, I should cry unto you, and that's what I'm gonna to do today. Say, but but we we are reading, we, I want to read the Bible. I want to, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> the thing is, 
when you read the word of the Lord, one of the things that happen is that, you know, they will come to a point, you get a rema word and it's just like a trigger. You know, you just, it's a trigger and you know, and then what happened is that, you know, something just happened. And as at that particular point in time, anything can happen. Uh, so the Lord said, I should tell you, your warfare is accomplished. The time of struggling is over. The time of, of fighting is over. The time of your spiritual warfare, you've been on fasting. You've been waiting for the Lord and say, Lord, when are you going to do it? When is going to God has me to announce to you that this day is salvation entered into your house in the mighty name of Jesus. He said today that you will receive double where you have been put to shame. You will receive double in the name of Jesus. I, 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 I perceived in my spirit that the Lord will hasten things to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. I, I, I sense that unction of quickening, a, a quickening. You know, something is going to be quickened in you, in your life, at your house, in your body, in your business. At your place of oh kalalala shateke labo stada. Oh Lord help me tonight. Gerako so kala shake rege sakalabu ko santa ya la ko so good. I don't know when you gonna watch this video, or maybe you're watching right now. Literally, you said, Lord, I need a word. Say, Lord, if something don't happen, then um I don't know what's gonna happen next, Lord. Uh, look, let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you something. Uh, the Bible says that um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous man runs into it. I love one translation of the Bible, and it said they are lifted up above danger. That's what's going to happen to you today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that you are going to be lifted up. You are lifted up out of danger in the mighty name of Jesus. That, that's, that's your portion in Jesus' name. You were raised up. You are lifted up. That's your portion. That's what's going to happen to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will visit you and the Lord will perform his word in your life in the name of of Jesus. I declare that whatever it is that is not working, whatever it is that has not worked, things will begin to work in the name of Jesus. I, I come in that place today like the servant of the Lord and I said that's not going to be your last meal. You will not eat it and die. There shall be supply, supernatural supply. You will wake up tomorrow morning to find money in your bank account by someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The God of miracles is at it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, why am I excited? Let's read Acts of Apostles chapter 8 and then we will see where the Lord is going to take us from now. You know, I got my and I know, but this is one of the videos that you know what? Um, whatever the Lord wants to do, let him do it. It's not my program, it's not my video, it's his video, you are his people. But 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 one 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 thing that I'm sure of today, let me tell you something. One thing I am fully persuaded of today is that I know that somebody is being crying. I know somebody has been saying, I need help. I know somebody has been saying, I am alone. I need help. Lord, I need help. This weight is too much. Lord, I need somebody to set me loose. I need somebody. You know, why, why, why do you need? Why do you need somebody to set you loose? Oh, say, oh, but we're Christian. But you remember the quote? You remember the, the donkey in the Bible? You know, Jesus Christ wants to ride on the donkey. And then he sent his disciples. He said, you go to this junction, go and untie the donkey. And when anybody asks you, what are you doing? Tell them that the master had need of. So, so sometimes we just need somebody to come to where we are, where we are being tied down, where we are, we are helpless. You know, you, you do, do you know that sometimes, um, 
when when you are sick, you are weighed down, you are discouraged, the last thing you ever want to do is to call upon the name of the Lord or to pray. You don't even know the words to pray. You don't know what to say in prayer. You you don't you are confused, everything altogether. You don't know, you don't know what is going to happen next as at that particular point in time is when you need somebody to speak word, prophetic words into your life to to raise you up to to get you up, to make you to arise, arise from where they have kept you and to lift you up with the word of the Lord into the place where God has prepared for you. Now, let's see what happened. Let's read Acts of Apostles chapter 8. I'm going to be reading from uh, the King James Version. I, I apologize. I won't be able to do a recap today. So I just want to encourage you to please uh, go on our YouTube channel and go and watch the video we did, you know, on Acts of Apostles chapter 7. I mean, you can't afford to miss that video. Go and look at the story of Stephen. Amazing, an amazing story. And we're going to look at the story of Philip today. You know, there were two people, uh, they were called, they were appointed to serve at the table, but they, they, they did great things. Oh, my God, those people, they did wonders. Uh, it, it doesn't matter whether you feel you are, they put you where you think you are not supposed to be. The Lord will promote you. The Lord will raise you up. The Lord will lift you up. The Lord will recognize you. The Lord will cause his glory to shine upon you. Look, let, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Whatever you touch with your hands will prosper in the name of of Jesus. They they have given you a small portion to handle. Oh, because they because because they're jealous, they're giving you a small portion to handle. The Lord will expand that portion. The Lord will expand that work in the name of Jesus. Lord, please help me tonight. Okay, let's quickly read. Let's quickly read. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house, hailing men and women committed to prison. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracle which he did. One clean spirit, crying with, a, with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with death, and many taken with horses that, and that were lame were healed. And there was great joy in that city and there was great joy in that city there will be great joy in your house in the name of jesus but there was a certain man called simon which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of samaria giving out that himself was some great one to whom they all have gave heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of God, and to him they had regard because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem had that Samaria had received the word of God is sent unto them Peter and John, who when they come down pray for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was falling upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus. Then laid they hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that through laying on of hands of apostles the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money, thy money perish with, with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in your sight. Repent therefore of this wickedness, and pray, God, if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven thee. 
For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which you have spoken come upon me. And they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages of the Samaritans. And the angel of the Lord spoke unto Philip, saying, Arise, go towards the south, unto the way that went down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, and Uno of great authority, under uh, Candice, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all the treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning, and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near, and join yourself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him re read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understand thou what thou read? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired that Philip, and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this: He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. And in his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached Jesus, and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What will hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believe with all your heart, Thou mayest, and he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come out, come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found in Asutus, and passing through he preached in all the city till he came to Caesarea. Oh, wow. Now, I got my notes, but I just want to follow the Lord tonight. Verse 39 said, And the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. Philip was transported. He was moved away from the sight of the utopian eunuch. Oh, I pray today that the Spirit of the Lord God will come upon you and will move you to a different level, a new level. I declare that the Lord will raise you up to such a level that every person that looked down on you they will begin to look up unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the Bible says that, I love this verse, verse 19. Uh, uh, no, 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 verse 8. I, I want you to, Acts of Apostles chapter 8, 8, 88. Acts of Apostles chapter 8, 8, and there was great joy. There was great joy in that city. There was great joy in that city. So I declare today in the name of Jesus that there will be great joy at your house. The Lord will do great things. You see, weeping may have endured for a night. It's only for a season. Your season of joy and thanksgiving have come in the name of Jesus. You know, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 14, and verse 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. The Lord has brought you to the realm of joy unlimited. You know, something our Lord Jesus Christ said, he said, he said, look, he said, you have not asked me for anything. He said, ask that your joy might be full. Ask that your joy my be full. So I want you to ask tonight, what is it that will make your joy full? What is it that you want the Lord to do for you? Uh, uh, that the Lord will make your joy full in the name 
of Jesus. Look, let me let me share a testimony with you that will make you happy. I was believing God for a job to that will be closer to my house so I can have time to do things like this, the mirror of the world and serve the Lord. All I just want is a Lord, I don't want to travel far. I'm just going to be happy. Just give me a job. And where I live, you can't, you wouldn't even think that today is that type of job there. That not only that the Lord gave me a job that was about 15 minutes walk. I mean, walk, not on the bus. 15 minutes walk to my house. The Lord increased my pay. I tell you today, in the name of Jesus, whatever will give you joy. This is the season for it. Whatever will give you joy, it will happen in the name of Jesus. I want, I want you to do something. I want you to shout for joy. For the Lord will do great things. If, if you're just alone at your house, I want you to shout. I want you to dance. I want you to rejoice. Because Psalm, Psalm 35 verse 27 say, Let them shout for joy and be glad. I want you to shout. I want you to be glad. I want you to rejoice. Because the Lord will restore unto you the joy of your salvation. I, I tell you, you remember when you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you were excited, you were happy, you were happy, great things happened in your life. Everywhere you went, you were telling people about the new experience. There was that peace in your heart. It looks like it's no longer there because of the pressure, because of the things you are being through or you are going through. But I declare today as a servant of the living God that today is the day of your salvation. The Lord will restore your joy in Jesus' name. And we give you a heart, a heart of gladness in the name of Jesus. I declare today, you will draw out of the wells of salvation with joy in the name of Jesus. You will bring out from you the fruit of the Spirit. The gift of the Spirit will be in manifestation in your life and you will bring joy to many people. Not only that you will have joy, your joy will become contagious. People that are around you will experience this joy in the name of Jesus. Look, the Lord we do great thing for your team, for your company, for your staff, where you work, because of you, in the name of Jesus. Look, look, uh, 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 somebody, you're watching me, you, you just, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. Uh, you, you package a pro project together, I think is a tender, uh, and you are part of that team, and you have been praying, you have been believing God, look, the Lord asked me to tell you that he has given you that project because of you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, he said, he said I should tell you that don't be afraid. Don't worry that you will get that project. You will win that project. The Lord asked me to tell you, say, he, said, he will do it for you. He will do it for your sake. He said, the Lord said, he will do it for you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You will win. Your company will win because of you. So you, you might as well just begin to shout and rejoice. And when you get to the office tomorrow, tell them that, look, we are going to win. We are going to win. And they will be asking you, say, are you so sure? Tell them the Lord told me so. That we are going to win. Look, let me tell you something. You are sown in tears. You will reap in joy. In the name of Jesus. Uh, look, your, the book of remembrance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will give you an unexpected promotion in the name of Jesus. This is what happened to Mordecai. Listen to me. This is what ha happened to Mordecai. Mordecai did something for the king. Okay? His name was written down, but he was not rewarded. 
For there came a point when the Lord visited him, and the king couldn't sleep because of him. And the king said in, the, in his heart, What shall be done to that person in whom the king is happy with? I declare in the name of Jesus that your labor of love will be rewarded in the name of Jesus. You know, I, I know that uh, the scripture says in the book of First Timothy chapter 5, that the good deeds of some people take times for some times to happen. But the Lord asked me to tell you today that there shall be a performance of that which he has told you. The Lord will bring you out with joy and gladness. You will return to the place that the Lord has prepared for you with joy. With joy. With joy. Joy in your house. Joy in your family, joy in your heart, in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says it, and the ransom of the Lord shall return. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 10, and the ransom of the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs, everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. That's your portion. That's your portion. Every sorrow and sign shall feel, they shall flee away in the name of Jesus. You will obtain joy. You will, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will comfort you. Isaiah chapter 53, verse, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 3 says, For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort your waste places. The Lord will make your wilderness like Eden. Oh, urabake la soko boya kataya. Emangra ko lokosi bakala ya tokobo. Rakele ke santayala. And your desert will be like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found at your house in the name of Jesus. Voice of thanksgiving voice of melody in the name of jesus i declare today you will go forth with joy in the name of jesus you will be led forth with peace the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing and all the trees of the fleet of the field shall clap their hands. You know, th th this is what the Lord told me to tell you. He said, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The Lord asked me to tell you, fear not because there is a better result on the other side. Oh, glory. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 As you go in the way, it looks like he's not perfect. It looks like what you have is a half deal. It looks like what you have is half complete. But I declare in the name of Jesus that as you go in the way, you will be made whole in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't, don't judge the offer by the cover. Don't, don't judge what has been presented to you. Don't look at that man. Don't look at that woman by the way they have presented your, themselves to you. Don't judge the cover by the look. Because the Lord asked me to tell you that as you go on the journey, he will make things whole in the name of Jesus. Let me let me give you a testimony. Uh, there, there, there was a time in my life uh, 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 I was giving, uh, I got a job and, and I was, you know, in between, I said, Lord, do I really want to take that job? Uh, do I really want to take that job? I'm not sure. I don't want to leave where I am. You know, it's comfortable. I'm serving the Lord. I love the pastor. I love the church. You know, it's an opportunity to serve the Lord. And, and I was just saying, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, oh Lord. And the word of the Lord came to me and he said, you say, the Lord told the 10 lepers. He told them, he said, 
he said that they should go and just show themselves to the priest. And the Bible said, and as they went in the way, as they were going on their way, they realized that they were made whole. I, I declare to you today, as you go, as you step out in faith, the Lord will go ahead of you. The Lord will straighten every crooked way. The Lord will bring abundant supply for you in the name of Jesus. Let me, let me tell you what happened. When I got that job, um, before I resumed the job, <laughs> uh, Oh, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? You will get double compensation in the name of Jesus. The policies will be changed that will double what comes to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open the door just for you to go in in the name of Jesus. The door that has been shut is open for you. Look, look, all that God wants to do he wants to make you happy the lord wants to give you joy because the good news is about joy is joy in the holy ghost the lord will do great things for you in the name of jesus look the lord will make you an eternal excellence where you have been forsaken i repeat that i said the lord the lord will make you an eternal excellence where you have been forsaken, whereas you have been forsaken and you have been hated, so that no man went through you. No man, you, you put out your goods and everything, nobody is asking, nobody wants to buy, nobody wants to buy your good, nobody wants to come your way. You know, you just apply and apply and apply, nobody is calling you. But the Lord asked me to tell you today, as from today of us we begin to come you will have choices in the mighty name of jesus so where you have been forsaken and hated the lord said he will make you an eternal excellence a joy to many generations for your shame you will have double in the name of jesus for your comfort confusion you will rejoice in your portion. Therefore, in your land, you will possess double. An everlasting joy shall be upon you in the name of Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the God of your salvation. And why are you do that? I'm closing with this. Sevaniah chapter 3 verse 17 say, The Lord thy God in the midst of you is mighty. He will save you. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love and he will joy over you with singing. Wow. I want you to do something for me. Tomorrow is our prayer time. I, I perceive that something great is going to happen from what I, what, what I can say tonight. So don't just watch this video. If you are not able to join the prayer session tomorrow, we're going to be praying for a release of joy. Spirit of joy and gladness. That's what we're praying for tomorrow. Spirit of joy and gladness. You, you, you will just find yourself that while other people are crying, their heads are down, they don't know you, you're excited. You are filled with the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Every day, the joy of the Lord is your strength i want to invite somebody to become born again um let's pray for those who are sick oh thank you lord jesus father lord thank you thank you for those who are not healed already lord thank you oh thank you lord thank you lord i pray that the lord will give you praise for doing something with regards to that boom marrow Thank you, Lord, tonight. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural Lord transfusion. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise, Lord. Thank you for this 
Precious, precious Mary. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing all blood related diseases tonight. Thank you, Lord. Sickle cell, anemia, any kind of blood condition. Hemorrhage, any kind of blood condition. Thank you, Lord, for healing tonight. Thank you, Lord, for wholeness. I give you praise, Lord. I give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Halibush Takiborupa Kastan Tayalaba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this miracle. I give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving that woman joy. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for honoring your word. I give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So I want to give somebody the opportunity to become born again. I want you to give your life to Jesus Christ. If you want, it's going to be a quick one. I want you to please uh, say these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins today. I believe you died for me so I can have eternal life. I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for saying that prayer. Um, if I want you to do me one more favor, I want you to get in touch with me. I'm going to send you some materials uh, which is going to be of blessing to you. So please, um, our, our email address is going to appear shortly. Um, our email address is going to appear shortly on the screen. Uh, I think, yeah, praise the Lord. Our email address is going to appear shortly on the screen. Yes, do send us an email info at heavenofglory.com or telephone number 0798406321 so we can send some materials to you that is going to help you grow spiritually. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our Master Jesus Christ. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said it, he will do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Can you do me a favor? Can you please share this video with someone? Send it to your friend. Tell them that the God of miracle will visit their house, that there shall be great joy. Go get some song and just begin to dance. Good news is on the way. You are in the season of good news. Thank you so much. For joining today god bless you until i come your way with a fresh edition of the mirror of the world don't forget tomorrow prayer meeting and on friday we have our online interactive bible study looking forward to see you our meeting god bless you